Are you ready for a shocking revelation from Chelsea's past? Frank Sinclair, a key player during the club's golden era, has opened up about his unexpected departure to Leicester City. What does this mean for our beloved Blues? Stay tuned as we dive deep into a tale of triumph, transformation, and the shifting priorities that changed Chelsea forever. Be sure to subscribe and like for all the latest updates on Chelsea. Frank Sinclair, a name that might not ring a bell for many Chelsea fans today, played a pivotal role in the club's history during a transformative era. His journey from the youth ranks at Stamford Bridge to becoming a key player in the late 90s is a testament to the club's commitment to homegrown talent. However, as Sinclair reflects in a recent interview, things began to shift dramatically around the time of his departure. Sinclair's departure to Leicester City was not just a personal loss for him, but also a significant turning point for Chelsea. He expressed his feelings about being pushed out, especially after scoring in the League Cup final and contributing to Chelsea's successes in domestic and European competitions. It's hard to ignore the fact that his exit coincided with the club's shift towards prioritizing international talent over local players. This is something many fans feel deeply about. There's a certain pride in seeing players who grew up in the club system succeed on the biggest stages. You can't help but wonder, was this the right decision for Chelsea? Sinclair certainly thinks it marked the beginning of a new era. An era that would see the influx of big money signings and a departure from the club's rich history of developing local talent. He pointed out that after his departure, Chelsea signed big names like Marcel Di Sailly and Albert Ferrer, both of whom played in positions that had once been his. It raises an important question. Do we lose something special when we turn our backs on homegrown talent? As Chelsea fans, we've seen the club evolve into one of the top teams in Europe, but at what cost? Sinclair reminisced about a time when Chelsea was seen as a fashionable club, even without the financial backing that came later. The success during his tenure laid the groundwork for what was to come, but it's clear that the club's priorities shifted drastically, and many fans are left pondering whether that was the right move. In recent years, we've witnessed the club's strategy lean heavily towards acquiring established stars, often at the expense of younger players who have come through the academy. It's a double-edged sword. While we enjoy the thrill of watching world-class talent, Many of us feel a sense of loss for the players who worked hard to earn their place at the club. It makes you ask, will the next generation of talent ever get the chance they deserve? Sinclair's journey serves as a reminder of what Chelsea once valued. He represented Jamaica internationally, showcasing his talent on a global stage, which adds another layer to his story. It's a story that resonates with many fans who feel a connection to their club through its history and its players. Yet, here we are, years later, questioning whether the current strategy is sustainable or even right for the club's long-term success. So, what do you think? Was it the right decision for Chelsea to shift their focus away from nurturing local talent? I honestly feel torn. On one hand, the influx of international stars has undeniably brought success. But on the other, it feels like we're losing a part of our identity. I want to hear your thoughts on this. Are you as divided as I am? Let's discuss in the comments. Share your expectations and frustrations with the current direction of the club. Do you believe we should return to focusing on youth? Or is the current strategy the way forward? Chelsea is reportedly setting its sights on the talented 18-year-old defender Vince Osuji from Kalmar FF. This young Nigerian has caught the attention of several European clubs, and I have to say, it's exciting to see Chelsea in the mix. The Blues are known for their investment in young talent, and Osuji could be a fantastic addition to our defensive lineup. Now let's break this down a bit. Chelsea's defense has been under scrutiny, and bringing in fresh blood could really enhance our squad depth. Osuji is highly rated across Europe, and with the right guidance, he could develop into a key player for us. Just imagine the potential he has to grow under the pressure and expectations of the Premier League. 
It's a major step up in his career, and I think he would be eager to test himself on such a big stage. I can't help but feel excited about the possibilities here. Chelsea is one of the biggest clubs in the world. Playing for us is an exceptional opportunity. The exposure to high-level football in the Premier League could be exactly what Osuji needs to accelerate his development. But let's not forget, he would certainly be competing for a position in a lineup that could see some changes soon. With players like Benoit Badiashile and Axel Desaisai potentially leaving Chelsea, the door is wide open for a young talent like Osuji to step in. Now, will Chelsea be able to strike a deal with Kalmar FF? That's the million dollar question. I have faith in our club's financial capabilities. We have the muscle to get this deal done. The history of Chelsea shows a willingness to invest in promising young players, and I wouldn't be surprised if they make a move for Osuji soon. If they can secure him for a reasonable fee, this could turn out to be a bargain in the long run. However, there's another layer to this situation. Vince Osuji needs to join a club that can offer him a clear pathway to the first team. This is crucial for his development and confidence as a young player. I'm genuinely curious to see if Chelsea will provide him with those assurances. It's one thing to sign a player. It's another to integrate them into the squad effectively. Now, I want to hear from you. Do you think this is the right move for Chelsea? Personally, I'm torn. On one hand, I see the potential and the excitement around signing such a highly rated young talent. But on the other hand, I wonder if he'll get the playing time he needs to grow. Would he be better off at another club where he might have a clearer path to the starting 11? And let's talk about the impact of these decisions on our team's future. Signing Osuji could mean a shift in our defensive strategy and possibly a new era for Chelsea's back line. The thought of nurturing a young player into a star is thrilling, but it's also a risk. Will he adapt quickly? Can he handle the pressure? I'm eager to see how this all unfolds. The stakes are high, and I know we all share the dream of seeing Chelsea back at the top competing for titles. Your thoughts matter here. What do you think about Chelsea's pursuit of Vince Osuji? Do you believe he'll fit into our plans? I genuinely want to hear your opinions in the comments below. Let's keep this conversation going. If you enjoyed this breakdown and want to stay updated on all things Chelsea, don't forget to like this video, share it with your fellow Blue supporters, and subscribe to my channel. And remember to hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of the latest updates. Together, let's hope for a bright future for Chelsea and keep our fingers crossed for this potential signing.